Welcome back to more Zolfurak. Here, the Mage Edition. For the horn. This will probably be the only run that the Mage does, but I only record one anyway. Any of our... I do run uh, many of these uh, off-camera. I mean, I do most of them more than one time. But I just record the first one, generally. Unless something comes up. Okay, let's get this off of here. That was a quest back in the desert. Forty-seven warrior this time. It's gonna be less of a stomp. I wanna keep them together. I was gonna drop a flame strike up in there. Nah, I should just do this. How are you getting rusty on your mage after like two days? Because of World of Warcraft. And the fact that I'm juggling four characters. I'm rusty on my priests every time I boot the game up because I'm only playing once a week. I might be able to counterspell these uh, damn witch doctors. Actually managed to whack the uh, total with one staff swing. Oh, there's another shit heart, which I don't want on any character. I mean, this guy's got the true amulet. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, I'll happily sell it to a vendor, though. Got my arcane elixir up. Got like 20 or 30 of those potions because I was skill building off of them on two alchemists. pretty much done. We're starting to work arcane now. Get this arcane subtlety, which is helpful when mobs have some resist. I was actually grinding uh, little fire whelps two days ago on this character because he was the one I wanted to burn the uh, rested XP off of. I couldn't do shit with the fire damage because they had high fire resist. So I was just spamming Frostbolt the whole time. He still killed them well enough. It didn't make me stop grinding them. It was just less effective, so... That's where it would be helpful to have that penetration. This is basically penetration where you ignore or bypass enemy magic resist. There's also armor penetration, but it's not on hardly any talents. Uh, the rogue has a armor penetration talent over in the subtlety tree, which I'm not going to have. It's a goddamn shame that wasn't in the PvE tree where you actually need it for bosses and shit. They put it in the stealth tree, so only the, only the PvP spec rogues are going to have it. And you, you don't really need it for fighting players that much. And there are warriors, but what good does it do you against a caster? None. Many 
people get spell hit and penetration and magic resist all confused. Probably because the game produces the same error message or failure message whether you get a 0% hit or a miss. The game just says they resist it. Which those are not the same thing, but the game produces the same text. And I think that's why everyone's confused. You can't tell which one happened. Spell hit has nothing to do with the enemy's magic resist. Your magic resist does not reduce the enemy's chance to hit you with spells. They're, they're separate things. But they're basically filler points, because what we really want is that arcane concentration. It will basically make about 10% of my spells free. Every time I cast a spell, there will be a 2% per talent point to proc the buff, in which case my next spell will be free to cast. So I can just ding a free fire blast or a free flame strike. Yet another warrior who doesn't have his vanquisher sword. Not even gonna bother to ask. Why would you not have the quest reward sword? It only took one dungeon run, you get it from the quest. And it's better than that sword. That's the almond sword. Feel safe behind the giant torn warriors. They're like a fucking brick wall until they die. They're not really any thicker than anyone else, but all they really have is a health bonus. I still have several more stacks of these arcane elixirs in the bank. last wave. I brought the fire. <laughs> the damn evocation's not ready. One of the guys said they had the wands. So we'll be able to get our Hydrozilla again. Good. This guy I didn't really want to do more than one run on. Although I might be forced to to get the damn troll tempers. Now it's ready. wearing my jacket with my fan and my air conditioner turned off. I haven't done that for most of the year. But I bet it'll only be like this a day or two and then the damn searing heat will be back. If it was any hotter, you wouldn't bother with the stove. Just have a piece of metal outside and throw your eggs on it. Probably won't ever see those rare spots.
because of blast wave, I gotta be close to the action. Patchwork, the giant abomination. Actually, an easy boss compared to most of the other shit in there. You're getting the pyro. The combustion pyro. Didn't crit. What about that one? Didn't crit. Combustion's going up. There you go. Guarantees me three crits. You're just not exactly sure when you might get them. Shield be down. Rise up, Atala. Rise up. Oh, that's the wrong dungeon. Gosh, shit. I'm bad. I'll just get out of the way. I'll just block line of sight. Double crit. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as two, though. So, uh, I think if you crit an AoE, it just counts as one. I haven't had a good opportunity to actually test that. Using my ropes of the Lich. Even though I've got the Grimlock Tribal Vestment, because I don't really need more spirit. I've tested it with my current gear. I get back like 99% off an evocation, so. We can continue using the fancy lich rope. Especially while we're recording. I might give him a pyro too. I don't know how loud that's getting in the recording. I'm probably gonna regret hearing that if I ever look back through. Oh. I guess we're doing the bugs now, huh? Still use the other shit like a shrink ray. I didn't even get one. All these bugs. One guy got one shell. That, that's all we got. No, there's a second. You guys are expecting a blizzard. Well, I'm not a frost mage. I'm from the south. We just hurl a fireball at it. I still don't have a shell.
It immediately got up to 10 stacks. That blast wave from my combustion just went 10. We have 100% fire crit now. It is literally now a guarantee. One silver off that piece of shit. It'd probably help if I clicked the water button instead of the food button when I needed mana, wouldn't it? I didn't notice my character was eating instead of fucking drinking. Let's try this again. I didn't notice my character was over here. Chomp, 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 chomp. I don't want to use a fire spell on the scarab. I have to, I have to frost bolt. percent crit. Can't beat that. Boom. Usually it doesn't get to 100 because my 90% plus my natural crit. That's probably 100 already. Because I got 6% from my fire tree. Bitch, please. They coming for me, don't they? Got the same hat I do. Got the mace too. It took a while to find another group. I was doing all my pirate quests. Got this one on their own. We didn't need the guy way over there. Doing Muradin's gonna be the worst, though. Everyone's just gonna do, want to do princess runs and not the damn sides that you actually need. It's like, no, no, I'm trying to do orange and purple. I need my quest. Discipline spell for priest. Spell damage and healing, 20%. I think we killed this guy faster than the last group. Our damage is clearly better in this run. I 
Alright, blood amulet, and uh... It's really not better than the one I got. But even if you add them all together, that's 7, 14, 21 versus 8. So... A warrior took it. Well... You put it to better use than I would. Full discipline priest over here. It's actually not shadow like everyone else. He's got divine spirit. That's at 21 points. Discipline power infusion was 31. At 11, they actually get inner focus. All three of these are good. I think we need those at all. Skip, skip. that wicked cherry brew when I go back to the store tomorrow. It was delicious. This time, instead of just getting one of those, I'm going to get a whole, like, cave. Probably get another Seagram's variety pack, too. I mean, I'm not sure what I'll get yet. I still don't drink to get uh, drunk, I just drink to put the alcohol in my kidneys. folks. The mage is dry. Fire must be rekindled. Fire has burnt out. Crafts faint. We've got evocation, but with a boss right there, I don't really want to pop it right now. Spawns more mobs. Alright, fuck it. Fucking duck. Went from one mob straight to the next, so I'm stuck in combat. The mage needs a drink break. We don't need to clear all of these. Uh, I mean, it would prevent the boss from summoning the undead. The mobs that the boss summons while you fight comes from these graves, but... Is it worth it to take the time to clear every single one of these to prevent that from happening? Like, if you only clear from half of them, the boss will just take the zombies from the other half. So you'd have to clear all of them for this to have any real effect. I would argue it isn't worth the time. But it gets us our troll tempers anyway. I don't want to have to bring my mage back in here. There isn't hardly anything in here. Mage is also the least gear dependent character out of my three. 
This is the one that I can just grind on. Just grind a mob. Casters are not gear dependent. I mean, your gear could be complete garbage and you'll be just fine. You'll just have a bit less health. Mana, spirit. It's not a big deal. But when Melee has bad gear, that's a problem. Decision. But it would it would delay our arcane concentration by another level, but dungeon bosses keep being over my level. Not just one level over, but several. And that quest mold rhymes with that's for your Skolomans, King. Open to it once, and the mage has no mana. One of the steps does require two thorium bars. Oak rogue is correct. Not going to be a problem. Though. I have a minor and two engineers. Don't think my rogue actually needs to bother with that quest, though. Should be able to just lockpick the damn door. I'm drinking my water. I actually took the lid off of it because it's almost empty. be here a while if we're killing every single mob. Are we there yet? Time to buff. Oh. Got the new arcane intellect, 22. That's the second to highest. The top one's 31. 945 mana to cast that thing. One more. Now you can sit back down. Slurp it down, slurp it down. I didn't remember how many ranks of the mana gem there was. I checked and it looks like there's four of them. We should be getting the third one. It's either 46 or 48. I can hardly complain about killing all these guys because it's, it's getting me my uh, tempers. Whatever the hell that troll goop juice is called. Gotta bottle up that, that troll essence.
double crit. I might put a pyro on the next mob. Give me that juice. Actually, let's put a flame streak. Oh, come, come on, keep it together. Come on, double crit. Ouch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you pop an AoE with combustion, every target gets whatever your crit bonus is at. So you can over tap the number of crits you can get. But the directs, you can only get three crits. I can only imagine how unexciting to watch this must be. not one of those hippies that's going to take the time to edit. It's like you can always skip to a further point. Fast forward ahead. Waste time editing crap like that. Mage needs a drink. But here's where the spirit is helpful. Because you won't get back enough from just the damn water. If you have more spirit, your natural mana regen is higher while you're just sitting there. Congratulations, you've robbed the boss of his ability to summon corpses. Now, was it worth all the time you spent? You could have done, like, the whole temple event in th this amount of time. How did we miss those back there? Almost 4,000 mana. Damn water doesn't do 2k. I'll forget my potion. Can we do the boss now? Or do we need every single grave? Ah, sands consume you. Uh-oh, power infusion on top of combustion. <laughs> I'm not getting criticals. I didn't crit at all. Oh well. Who's the holdup? Priest, I bet. Fun. 
try to decide. Well, roll it if you're gonna roll it. Let's go. Actually, no, he didn't roll against me. Well, mine had damn wolf stats, so I'm kind of glad I won that. Three agility, 13 spirit. I don't know what he's got. Res really? Resist? Although technically it could have been a 0% hit. They produced the same message. But if the enemy has no fire resist, chances of that happening would be probably 1%. As usual, there's a tank shortage. Because none of the damn shamans want to do the job. Druids are usually up the task, but this is the lowest plate class. It would almost be easier to go find a wild bear in real life. starting to get some penetration in my build. But that's kind of a junk talent because enemies usually have no resist or they have a lot of resist. So you either have too much or not enough. But we gotta put the point somewhere in order to get to uh, Arcane Concentration. The only other place to put it would be Arcane Focus, which would be a complete and utter waste. It would do nothing at all past the two, first two points anyway. And uh, this talent over here, I don't even know why that's in the game. Who the hell uses Arcane Missiles? I guess it's fine for a row one filler talent, but all three of the second row talents are better than the first row talents. I really wish they put one of these up here. Wand spec would have been a good contender. But they put that wand spec on the second row, so you'll Pretty much no mage is going to get that. Wand spec or arcane concentration for free nukes? Hmm, which one should I go with? If the wand spec was on the first row, wouldn't have this problem. Talents are much better in Burning Crusade and Wrath, but that I don't think they ever moved. Overclocked. I gotta put up the combustion 
Damn, that was a fireball. Ouch. <laughs> My pyros don't even grid that hard. I got the key, so we'll... Whoever gets the key has got to open this shit. Tara and the second tablet are off the same chick. If you didn't watch the last video. All of this shit here is for the Divino Rod. Can they go right for the damned ranking mage? Maybe I should have drunk on this side. I just sit here and just flame strike over and over. It's going to be hard to drink during this event, though. Elite ones. It's the ones that hurt. Get it off. Bad troll. It's in the wall. Fine, I'll move to this side. He got stuck, apparently. a really overzealous group you could just charge down there right at the start and just camp there at the bottom but then they're just gonna spawn on you getting our characters to 45 today Glove put me over 4k mana. That only hit one guy. Yeah, my aiming is not very good on this slope. I was looking up instead of down it, that'd probably be easier. Most of them are non elite fodder, but the ones with big green shoulders are buff. I would suggest staying up here so that the other people help you out.
back here. And all these people help you out. Don't worry, there's plenty more. There's never gonna be a troll shortage. This event is actually quite similar to using the forums. Except at some point you're instant killed because someone blizzard a moderator flies in on a dragon and blows you up. Not not the people they need to, uh the, you. But they haven't done it recently. Maybe they're too busy playing the game. Before this launched. I was using the forums, just like anyone else, and I was silenced five different times by dickish moderators for fucking nothing. After the release, I have posted pretty much the same amount. So I would typically sometimes spend the time on the form of all my work and not playing. But haven't been silenced once. What does silence mean? Suspended. Why do they call it silence silence instead of suspended? Because it's blizzard. But it means you're suspended. Funny enough, when I actually did break the forum rules, they didn't care. Some things never change. They had shitty forums 15 years ago. It wouldn't be Blizz-like if it was good now. What's really insulting though is that uh, the Europe version of the boards have more sections than the American version. Get out of here. Why is this shitty recipe soulbound? Why would anyone give a shit about that? And that hat, since I don't have shadow damage, that's basically not better than what I've got. Any non-shadow priest probably might not care about it. Alright, we sent the goblin off. Resisted. But my mage just actually won, like, one of the only two items in here for him. So he has even less reason to come back now. The other one would be a staff, but...
Where's the power infusion? Come on, where, come on, where's the power infusion? I think the cooldown on that was only three minutes. It's the same as Kabush. Unless he's using it on himself, because it does boost healing as well. I haven't noticed. Well, there's a skill point for my rogue. Guess I'm gonna be hunting for shells after this. Rummaging around the dungeon looking for damn beetles. Dreading the great Iridan runs. It's gonna be Nomergon all over again. For no one has any fucking clue where to go. Where's this? Where's that? It's like I know where everything is, but it's hard to herd sheep. Though, technically, it'd probably be easier to herd the sheep than to lead groups and raids in video games. Someone leveled. Got our rod. Round them up. Need them all together. the fire mage. I don't got threat reduction on that corner. I should be more careful about using it. I'm pretty sure you can't sheep either of these guys. Test of skulls. That's for your Adixia key. Which is a much bigger pain in the ass for the Horde to do than for the Alliance. Fire is ready. This desert be mine. Uh-oh. I'm overcharged. 1060. Damn. It's another crit. That was without the combustion. Supreme. Another. It's the fury of the fire you should be worried about. Do you see those crits, Mom? Hey, 20 tempers, nice. Unless the warrior wants that, we don't have anyone to put that to good use. I think yesterday I saw someone in the guild chat say, 
I went to pull a life root out of the bank and it was this. Large bass in this tail. Because the icon looks the same. There's the goblin. He's still alive. He's trying to get back to the entrance, but he doesn't take the logical route out of the dungeon. He takes a path out through the damn hydro area. So he's gonna get fucking murdered because you didn't clear that path. Why would any why would anyone clear that route through the dungeon that doesn't have any bosses on it? You clear the route like one side has the bosses, the other side doesn't. So obviously you're going to take the other side. And he's going to get murdered. It's not our fault. He's an idiot. But hey, at least he opened the door for us first. So, not a problem. charge the next pack afterwards and then the next pack after that until he gets to the entrance to the dungeon so we can leave you don't get anything out of it he doesn't even give you a thank you uh, black dragon probably not gonna bother making any of those no shell We'll have to go hunt for crabs after this. Or beetles. drops. Could you imagine owning a an insect that big? <laughs> it's not technically possible, but there are isopods that can get that big. They look like big beetles, but they're not really an insect. I have to just sheep this thing. Getting killed by a damn gator croc. When your one Nova doesn't help, you just fucked. trying to run her down. So if you're being like, technical, then the biggest insects are the Hercules. So I uh, saw pictures some time ago of someone who had a uh, big, big isopod, and 
they were in a restaurant and they had it in like a a baby seat that you would put an infant in they had the damn isopod sitting in that because it was about the same damn size I thought that was hilarious You look at them, they look like a goddamn monster, which is great. Someone got bounced into the mobs. Or is that a patrol? Oh well. Can try and sheep one. We need to focus on the boss though. We're probably gonna die. You could have brought. The, why don't you just bring it over here to the clear to side? That's. Was that the five pack? Yeah, we're fucked. There's no point trying to run. I probably wouldn't make it all the way out the damn door. Just screwed. I'm trying to kill the boss. It's about all I can do. But these healing wards are probably healing his ass up. His health has actually been going up. Because we got witch doctors with the boss. I wonder if all my groups are going to wipe here, because people make bad pulls. Pyro! <laughs> We're going to die. Yeah, the boss would have been dead if it wasn't for these goddamn healing words. They were healing the thing. I could see the jumps. Next time, don't tank the, the giant boss next to a pack of five mobs. I mean, that was the worst place that you could have gone. Anywhere else in there would have aggroed less mobs. We are done with all of these. The shells I might be able to finish on my own, just running around looking for beetles. I don't know what the hell that is, it's being linked. Alert box? Stream labs? I get to see how long and stupid this run is. That, by the way, is the only graveyard in all of Tanneris. So, if you die down here, it's like a 5 to 10 minute run to get back to your body. It is ridiculous. Blizzard was too goddamn sadistic to put a second graveyard down here. And in most cases, the uh, graveyards are far away from the dungeon doors. They really punished you when you did stupid shit and wiped like this. I guess we're somewhat better off, because... Now they've made sure that not only is it pretty much impossible to die or wipe in the uh, retail version of the game, but if you do... No matter where in the world you are, a graveyard is going to be 10 seconds away. There is no incentive whatsoever to learn how to actually play. I 
I'm not going to re-clear all of this from the other side. It's a fucking waste. So am I. Not on this character. I still gotta get my beetles, though. Well, my warrior is only gonna be 44, not 47. Beetle! Found a beetle. Give me that shell. No shell. Figures. What the fuck? I can't go over a rock. Quest done. I need two more shells. I want to do it on your warrior. Eight hundred. Drop rate of these damn shells. Oh, he did drop one, it's just I didn't get it. They're not shareable. The fucking rare spawn is here. He wasn't here the first time we came through. So, we, the patrols respawn, and that, we got a rare spawn off the respawn. Like, what? That happened. Two beetles tucked way over there. Like, obviously, I need the bugs. That's why I keep fireballing them. Up. Someone got a shell, it just wasn't me. I wonder if all these guys respawn. Hey, they did. Perfect. I didn't know if this room would respawn or not. Fuck you, beetles. Give me my shells. It's 
nothing personal. I want my class. Okay, it's done. Dunzo with all of the fucking quests, except for gas, obviously. Gotta get my 65 silver, plus the XP hero tax. I think I was the last one to get that shit done. Got screwed by the RNG on this one. <laughs> Someone invited me to their channel, but you have blocked channel information. Hydra does not aggro any of the trolls, by the way. He can be standing right next to them. If you just hit him, they don't give a shit. They only aggro if you get too close to them personally. So, don't do that. Up here we go. Resist. Waste. Crit. I have to look fucking up. I'm trying to see how hard they're hitting. 690. 708. It wasn't very impressive that time. Probably could have used this if it was fucking cloth, but no, the eagle plate. Or paladin plate. I greed one, the thing. I don't think I'm gonna worry about trying to see if there's another rare down there. Okay, that's this run done. I think we're gonna be right back in here with Mun Priest on my warrior. I don't know how well I'm gonna tank this at 44, but. Actually, I might not vendor the carrot on this character because he doesn't have any other trinket to put there, so. character. Have a good one. I guess we'll get it anyway. And agility's not a horrible thing for us casters with our wands. Greetings. That other ring I had was shit anyway. Seven and a like two spirit. Slow level crap. The hat does vendor for more, but it was only like an 18 silver difference, and at this point, we don't really have to care about vendor prices that much. <laughs> at least they are willing to admit they can't tank. Well, the class can do it. Haven't seen that axe drop yet. Maybe 
the warrior will be the one to get lucky and actually get that shit. We actually haven't seen any of the weapons drop. Not a one. Or, well, the staff, technically. There's actually a spear that can drop, too. But unlike the one from Older Man, it doesn't have any stats on it. That one is very good as a stat stick on hunters. This one you're supposed to swing. That'd be an upgrade over what my warrior has. Just swing whatever we can get. My, you're a tall one. Not Off doing that way. quest. Uh, those were BOE, were they? Yeah, no one's gonna buy the intellect plate. Might turn in this Terra later because it's in the damn swamp. And if you look over there, you can see drain tiles. But, uh, it's not quite that swampy around here because it doesn't rain enough. Get our arcane subtlety maxed out. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this extra long episode because they wanted to farm all that crap. But it is what it is. <laughs>